You know, it came to me today that I should probably do a, a video on printer face adjustments on a Datamax printer when you want to adjust the print um, positioning on your label. If it's not centered left or right or centered up and down in the feed direction, <clears throat> how do you adjust that? Well, it's better to do that on the printer. These adjustments are due to mechanical tolerances in each printer. In other words, <clears throat> you can send it a, um, a certain design down to a printer, printer one, and it may be perfect. And printer two, using the exact same software, the exact same template, may be off. So um, that's due to mechanical tolerance differences between one printer and the next. And so it's best to do these adjustments for vertical positioning or vertical centering and left-right centering on each printer. Now, if you're using Ethernet, you can generally just go to a browser, put in the IP address of that printer and make the adjustments there. It's, it's generally easier. But if you're not using Ethernet, if you're using USB <clears throat> or uh, in some cases, it's just faster to do it this way. I thought I would do a quick video showing you how to do these print adjustments right from the printer faces. Specifically, this one is going to deal with the Datamax um, H-Class 4606. And these are Brady ATA high memory RFID tags. Okay, So we begin by making sure that we've got a little magnifying glass here. You can toggle this down arrow to turn it on or off. If you don't have it on and you hit menu, the menus are so small you really can't see them. So um, I suggest hitting that once and now when you hit menu you've got something that you can actually use. Alright, <clears throat> everything that we want to talk about today is in this print control section. I should say most of everything we want to do today. Okay, so scroll down to that and hit enter and the things that we want to change are not related to speed or heat, they're um, offset values. And Datamax has a kind of a, a funny way of doing this. They have row offset and they have row adjust. And basically these offset numbers, we want to be zero. So just kind of go through this list and make sure that your row offset and your column offset are all zero. Same thing with this present distance, make sure that's zero. Um, <clears throat> that way we the settings that we make in other areas will know that they're not being biased by some non-zero values here. Okay, so uh, what we want to look for is this custom adjustments. And if I actually just go straight into print control, enter, and then hit the up button instead, I'll get right to custom adjustments. And that's really what we want to focus on here. All right, so go to row adjust, and row adjust is for um, vertical adjustment of the design. So this is a little bit high here, and this was a little bit low here, and I had a plus 36, which for a 600 DPI printer, that is um, 24 dots per millimeter, or about one and a half millimeter adjustment. And it looks like it went up, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. So I'm gonna move this down to zero, All right, and I'll hit enter and that is for vertical adjustment. Column adjustment is for moving it left and right, and that actually looks pretty good. So enter, and this says 24 dots, moving it one millimeter one way. I'll be honest, I don't know if it's actually plus or minus to go right or left, so experiment with that. And then present adjust here is gonna be a static value. I find <clears throat> that this works best if you just keep it at minus 300. And if you're doing this from the web page instead of here, you won't be able to put in minus 300. There's a bug in there in the printer's home page. Uh, if you do, however, um, enter minus 030 from the web page, it'll probably come through here properly as a minus 300, but you'd have to check. Okay. All right. And that's pretty much it for positioning. Uh, top, bottom, left, right and present adjust, make sure that's always a static value of minus 300. Now, I did say, you want to save your changes, I did say there's one other setting in here, and that was under um, printer options. 
and go down to RFID, <clears throat> and there's a RFID position. And I believe that the default that Brady puts in is different than what I have found to be useful. I put in 1.26, and what this is supposed to be is the distance between the antenna position in the printer and the chip position. And so for medium-sized tags, whether they're the um, 55 millimeter ones or whether they're the shorter ones, uh, that position relative to the beginning of the label is always the same, so there's no difference in RFID position for that. Now, if you are using the um, the large labels, <clears throat> there will be a small difference. I'll just put these side by side so you can kind of see. There will be a small difference, but it's almost... Z yeah, actually, you know what? I really don't think there is any difference. If you look from the beginning of a notch to the center of the label, it's still going to be in the same position. So that number should be the same whether you're using the large tag, the medium tag, or the small tag. 1.26, 1.28, that's kind of what I recommend. And um, if you do that, enter. If it asks you to save your parameters or save your settings, do so. And now when you print, you should have something that is um, centered left, right, up, down. If not, keep making changes until it is. And then um, that printer is done. Now, all artwork, regardless of what it is, should now be centered on this printer.